Hey guys and welcome to Red's Effects, the place for newbies, indies, as well as low budgeters. Today guys, we're going to be venturing into the independent world of filmmaking and doing an effect from a really cool and neat short film that I watched that just recently came on Netflix called Code 8. Now I found this film to be really cool because it has some sort of old ideas that we've seen before but it kind of makes a new twist on it. It's sort of like The Incredibles meets a dystopian sci-fi future film where everything's a bit more meaner and brutal. Kind of dug it. Also, I'd watch anything with Stephen Amell. He's on my shelf right now. He's over there. So today we're going to be taking a look at the electric eyes effect that happens with Robbie Amell's character. I think his name is Connor throughout the movie. And um, it's something that I found to be a really cool but simple effect to pull off. So all you need to do essentially is shoot your actor looking on screen and try not to move his eyes too much and definitely try not to blink. We're not going to be covering, blink covering blinking in this tutorial, even though it's quite simple to do, because um, it's in your best interest to not blink. But shoot your actor looking at camera, or not even looking at camera, just make sure that these eyes are fully visible, lit well-ish, and that they don't blink. And essentially all we can do is pull this off 100% in hit film. As for assets, basically everything can be found within hit film express. If you do want to add a little bit of cherries on top and also maybe use it for the lightning fingers that he actually has in the movie, you can use some of the electric assets from production crates. Some of those are actually free um, that you can find in my Thor lightning eyes episode as well as I used it in the recent Shazam episode. Those are optional cherries or little icing that you can add on top of your VFX cake. I chose to not really dip into that pool although you can definitely use it to spice up your effect and make it your own otherwise shoot your footage open up your film express dive in and let's get to lighting those eyes up so here we are in Hitfilm Express with my shot tucked neatly into a fresh new comp. This effect is really easy guys, like, like stupid easy, so let's get to it. Our first tip is going to be tracking our eyes so that our glowy bits stick to them. And so to prepare for that, let's hit Ben, our good trusty old plus icon and create two new point layers. Name the first one right eye track or fart rocket one and the second one left eye track or of course fart rocket two. Now with our clip selector, let's head up and add a new track. We'll then move the boxes over our left eye and adjust them to cover a nice area. Side note, I am aware that this is in fact my right eye, but when looking at your screen, it's on your left. So to make life simpler and not overcomplicate a really easy effect, we'll just call this my left eye. Right now, making sure that you're at the point where you want the glowy electric eyes to start, hit track forward. Right, once that's done, let's head down, select our left eye track in the drop down menu for where we want to store the data and then hit OK. Next up, we want to just repeat all of that for our right eye and then, of course, select our right eye point for where to store the tracking data in the tracking panel. And that, guys, is the quote unquote hard part done. Crazy, I know. So let's get to making the eyes glow. Let's create a new plane, make sure it's white and call it right eye. Let's turn the bad boy off for now and then zoom in to our right eye. The reason I'm doing this is because my right eye is well lit and you can see my pupil better than you can for my left eye. Okay, let's select the oval mask tool and draw a circle over our pupil. Okay, now that's done to soften those edges ever so slightly, let's feather that mask to around one pixel. Okay, so before we make the sucker glow, parent the plane to your right eye track point layer. And as we can see, it then sticks to our eye nicely. Now what I want to do is duplicate that plane, name it left eye, scoot it over and position it over our left eye's pupil, and then parent it to our left eye track. The reason we're not creating a new mask is because while our eyes might be slightly different shapes from each other based on the angle you shot at, our pupils will stay relatively the same size, and doing this would make it look all funky. Okay, head to the fix panel and search for the glow effect and apply it to our left eye or right, doesn't really matter. Let's then set the intensity to 2, don't worry about the threshold really since the area is so small, the radius to 8, and the blend mode to add. In the per channel intensity controls, let's set the red value to 1, the green to 1.5 and the blue all the way up to 2. 
you can tweak these settings for other colors as well based on your liking. Now, remember what I said in our Shazam episode about layering glow effects? Well, let's put that concept into practice here once again. Add another glow effect and this time we'll set the intensity higher to 4.5. Again, don't worry about the threshold as again, the area is too small for it to even matter. Set the radius wider at 55 the blend mode to add again, and then in the per channel intensity controls, let's drive that blue color home. Set the red value to 0.2, the green to 1.2, and the blue again, all the way to two. And boom, we are done. Let's copy those glow settings and paste them onto our other eyes plane, and now we have two glowy electric eyes from Code 8. Bonus tip for you guys, if you wanna animate them to flicker on, this is how. Turn on keyframing for both your eye layers opacity at the point that you want it at. and set them both to zero. Advance around three frames and set them both to 80. Then move forward two more frames and set them both to 20. Then finally advance three or more frames and set them all the way up to 100. And now we have two beautiful glowing blue electric eyes flickering on just like in Code 8. So follow all those steps, rob a bank, take down a drone, shoot some electricity out of your fingers and you'll end up with something that looks a lot like this. And there it is, a simple effect from a really cool and a neat little movie that I saw called Code 8. I'm sure all of you guys have seen it as well, it's quite popular. Um, let me know what you guys thought of the effect. Let me know if you've tired it yourself and what your kind of results were. Maybe you added a bit of a twist on it. Remember guys, this effect as well as all types of effects, it, it's subject to what you want. So you can look at what I'm doing and then you can copy the exact same steps or the exact same settings or you can change it up. You can add a bit more things, change the colors around, make it your own because in filmmaking, in VFX, everything is subjective. It's up to you. You can do whatever you want. And that's the beauty of it. Anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Definitely leave a comment down below as well as like this episode. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers. It's so delicious saying something like that since I've been waiting so long for it. But uh, subscribe down below if you haven't already. I know most of you aren't subscribed according to YouTube analytics. Sneaky. So subscribe. Why not? Turn on notifications because we are releasing episodes uh, more frequently now that we are in this weird time period. Um, definitely follow me on Twitter down below. Check out some of the links I've left for you guys as well as the episodes on the end screen of this video. And yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.